We begin in the waking world, which humanity insists on calling the real world. As if your dreams have no effect upon the choices you make, you mortals go about your work, your loves, your wars, as if your waking lives are all that matter. But there is another life which awaits you when you close your eyes and enter my realm. I know who you are. Dream of the endless. When they captured me, I just had one thought. Vengeance. It wasn't as satisfying as I'd expected. Meanwhile, my kingdom had fallen apart. My tools long since stolen and scattered. And so I embarked upon a journey to find them. Tools are the subtlest of traps. We become reliant upon them, and in their absence, we are vulnerable, defenseless. We do not choose to be created, nor do we choose how we are made. That is true. But we can change. No. We are, each of us, born with responsibilities. Even I am not free to choose to be other than I am. Nor is anyone. I, Lord Morpheus, dream of the endless. Let the challenge begin. My creations stay in the dreaming. They do not walk amongst the living, killing mortals for pleasure. Have you no loyalty to your creator? Why should I? There's no loyalty to us. He only cares about himself, his kingdom. But we're all just Roderick Burgess to you. All you care about is your scent, your power. What's the point of you? Do you think they came back out of love? Or because they were afraid of what you would do to them if they did not? I do not wish to take your life, but we all have responsibilities and this is one of mine. Because I'm not afraid. You should be. I used to be something else. We all change, sir. Even you, perhaps. One day. What fascinates me about humanity is that so many people are looking for reasons to be unhappy. It's only when they're mired in their self-made misery that they're truly content. The truth is a cleansing fire which burns away the lies we've told each other and the lies we've told ourselves. So that love and hate, pleasure and pain can all be expressed without shame. I see you for who you truly are. What is happening right now? And I want you to see it too. Isn't it a relief to tell the truth for once? Don't you wish we could live in a world where we could say what we actually think? People lie because they are selfish. They lie because they are human. They lie because they're scared. People will say anything, do anything, to keep from being hurt. And the trouble with stories is, if you keep them going long enough, they all end in death. I offered you a world where you could be yourselves without having to suffer for it, but it seems you enjoy your suffering. And if that is your truth, then perhaps your suffering will set you free. How is this a better world? You're still seeing it with your eyes. You need to close them. Close your eyes and see yourselves as I do. Embrace the darkness. Until now, you have sustained fantasies in which you are the victims. Comforting daydreams in which you are always right. But no more. The dream is over. I have taken it away. For this is my judgment upon you. If you think I am going back to the dreaming with you, I brought you into this world to serve humanity, not to feed upon it. Do you know why I do it? So I can taste what it's like to be human. No! You don't care about humanity. You only care about yourself. I am 
a universe. All life embracing. I am anti-life. The beast of judgment. The dark. At the end of everything. What will you be then, Dream Lord? Hope. People feel as pleased to have been born as if they did it themselves. But they get upset and hurt and shaken when they die. But eventually, I learned that all they really need is a kind word and a friendly face, like they had in the beginning. This is the truth of mankind. No, you're wrong. This is the truth of mankind. You being here means something is different, something has shifted. So if you can choose to be here, maybe you can choose to stay. Their dreams inspired them. Their dreams kept them alive. But if you rob them of their dreams, if you take away their hope, then, yes, this is the truth of mankind. People are almost always better than you think they are. Not me, though. Still the same as ever. I think perhaps you've changed. I think it's you that's changed. We exist only because they know deep in their hearts that we exist. We're here to serve them. It isn't about quests or finding purpose outside our function. We're here for them. Since I figured that out, I realized I need them as much as they need me. You're late. It seems I owe you an apology. When a human is at the center of the dreaming, is it not to remind us that we exist because humans dream, not the other way around? The miracle of humanity itself should always be more vivid to us than any marvels of power. I had no right returning here after over a century expecting everything to be just as I'd left it. Lucien tried to tell me that. So did you. But now I'm listening. Or trying to. New dreams, new nightmares, a new age.